500 years had passed and the fruits of Christianity in the Philippines is now being relished by the faithful all over the country. Together, let us take a trip down memory lane and look at the most eventful times in our diocese as we take part in this momentous event of our Christian faith. On the place that used to be Rice Paddies 70 years ago, now stands the Immaculate Conception Cathedral, the seat of the Diocese of Cubao. In 1935, a small chapel was built on rice fields and was administered by Father Henry Desmond, a priest from the Society of the Divine Word. The SVD priests attended to the pastoral and spiritual needs of a limited farming community. The chapel built was dedicated to San Isidro Labrador and belonged to Sacred Heart Parish in Camuning. On December 8, 1949, the patron San Isidro Labrador was changed to Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception. On July 15, 1950, the community chapel was canonically erected to become the Immaculate Conception Parish with Father Juan Simon as its first parish priest. After many years, the SVD community passed on their legacy and turned over the administration of the Immaculate Conception Parish to the Archdiocese of Manila on April 30, 1990. Monsignor Rinaldo Celso was installed as the first diocesan parish priest by His Eminence Jaime Cardinal Sin. With the continued growth of the Christian community that was becoming more and more diverse with the influx of Filipinos migrating from the provinces into the city, the Archdiocese of Manila recognized the ever greater challenge of keeping the faithful together. The Archdiocese needed to give birth to suffragan dioceses. On June 28, 2003, the Diocese of Cubao was established. However, a diocese doesn't stand on its own without having a cathedral. The word cathedral comes from the Latin word cathedra. It means a seat. It's more of the symbol because a seat is a piece of furniture, just like the chair of the board. We don't speak of a chair, but it's the position of someone in a corporation. So in the Catholic Church, we use the word cathedral to signify the place where the bishop, you know, resides. Well, when you say episcopacy, it means uh, literally it's a Greek overseer. So the bishops are asked to oversee a particular jurisdiction of the church, which we call diocese. So in a diocese, there is only one cathedral. And usually that's the place where the bishop resides. Maybe the strong devotion of a particular community. And so they name it just like uh, in the diocese, we have four parishes under the patronage of Mary, the Immaculate Conception. And Christ, who is higher, of course, Christ the King, we have only two, okay? Our Lady of Perpetual Help, we have two. So how come? I think it's more of the choice of the people, their devotion, their subculture. Filipinos' Marian devotion was undeniable and has never been stronger. This is the reason why the Filipino people have been called Pueblo Amanda de Maria, or people in love with Mary. The Immaculate Conception Cathedral of Cubao is known for promoting the devotion to Mary. This focus is evident not only in the pastoral activities that build up the devotion, but also through the art depicted on its walls. The beautiful stained glass windows of the cathedral exhibit the most important scenes of the life of Mary. The Annunciation to the Blessed Virgin Mary 
the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary and image of Our Lady of Pentecost. You know, when we were doing the renovations, we I followed the the style of the church, which is of the cathedral, which is parang neo-Romanesque, na may pagka neoclassic. So, ang, ang inspiration are also from sources na ganun. For instance, in the 19th century, there was um, there were churches in Europe that were built in that style, like the um, Sacre Coeur and um, Almudena in Madrid. And those are among the sources that I looked at and got inspired. I also looked at a lot of uh, classical paintings. Uh, I, I said we have to choose um, also scenes in the Virgin's life that have some kind of dramatic impact when we build the stained glass. So the, the three large windows, of course, for the facade, we have the Immaculate Conception. And then sa, um, sa lateral facade facing Lantana, uh, the Blessed Virgin as uh, the mother of the church, so Pentecost. That's why we, we chose Pentecost. And then uh, the opposite side, of course, kasi uh, I have a devotion for St. Joseph and, and so did Monsignor Dan. So we both agreed to dedicate that window to St. Joseph. Truly, the Immaculate Conception Cathedral of Cubao is not just rich in history, but also a perfect presentation of art and devotion. The cathedral that has withstood the test of time for seven decades has also been a place that witnessed remarkable events in the diocese. Ordinations, weddings, establishment of the diocese's judicial tribunal, and a solemn rite for the opening of the cause for beatification and canonization of the servant of God, Darwin Ramos, on August 28, 2019. And although a lot of memories have been made in the years past, we still have many things to look forward to. A very important para sa cathedral na maipasa, no? Maipasa yung pananampalataya, no? Ma-share, no? Sa mas maraming tao. Uh, at, at sana yun ang magpatuloy, no? Uh, at, at this is a responsibility of everyone that uh, yung bawat isa may maiaambag, yung bawat isa may maibibigay, para siguraduhin na yung pananampalataya ay naibabahagi. No? And that is every responsibility of parents, for example, in their family, tapos yung catechists no? sa mga estudyante nila, o kaya sa mga fellow ministers. No? I think what is important is uh, we continue to grow in our motivation to share. No? Ang debosyon sa mahal na birhen, paalaala sa atin, ay ang paglalim ng ating kalooban na matulad sa kalooban ng Mahal na Birheng Maria. So, imitation. No? Ang tunay na diboto ng Mahal na Ina ay ang pagtulad sa Kanya. Tularan ang halimbawa ng Mahal na Birhen. At yan, walang kapalit yan sapagkat yan ay kalugud-lugud. Hindi lang sa Mahal na Ina, kundi sa ating Panginoon. Hindi pwede tayo magpatalo sa takot. Eh, no? Lagi tayo maghahanap ng paraan para ibahagi ang uh, pananampalataya na tinanggap natin mula sa Panginoon, mula sa mga misyonero. Lagi tayo maghahanap ng paraan kung paano maging misyonero, kung paano maging magmisyon. No? We always have to look for ways. Anong meron tayo ngayon? Online. Anong meron tayo ngayon? Social media. No? Anong meron tayo ngayon? Chat. No? Napakaraming pwede nating i-message mga kaibigan, mga kakilala na dumadaan sa mga pagsubok o kaya naman may sakit o nasa quarantine. No, we have to, kailangan natin silang kamustahin araw-araw. We continue to find ways how to spread the good news.
Oo, maraming pagsubok, maraming nawawala ng pag-asa, pero nasa puso ng pananampalataya natin, meron pa ring mabuting balita. At kailangan hindi tayo nawawalan ng lakas at ng gana para maghanap ng mga pagkakataon para ipahayag ang mabuting balita ng ating Panginoon. The Immaculate Conception Cathedral of Cubao joins the celebration of the 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines. Salamat Panginoon sa iyong punla Misyon kaloob sa aming puso Aming sarili ay aming handog Laging tapat at laging tugon Naririto handa kami Panginoon Kami hahayo sa iba't ibang dako Hatid ang iyong salita at paglilingkod Inang Maria ang siyang gabay na mitlugod Lalaganap alab ng iyong misyon Limang daang taong biyaya Salamat Panginoon sa iyong punla Misyon Kaloob sa aming puso, aming sarili ay aming handog. Laging tapat at laging tugon, naririto handa kami, Panginoon. Ang mga kaloob na aming alay sa mundo, katarungan, kabanalan, kapayapaan. Sa senyal na ito maniniwala ang mundo Pagmamahal namin sa bawat tao Imang na ang taong biyaya Salamat, salamat Panginoon Imang na ang taong biyaya Salamat Panginoon sa iyong punla Misyong kaloob sa aming puso Aming sarili ay aming handog Laging tapat at laging tugon Naririto handa kami Panginoon Naririto handa kami Panginoon! Mapagpalang araw po sa ating lahat ng mga mananampalataya. 
tayo ay nagsasagawa ng mga online mass alinsunod sa kautusan ng pamahalaan na bawal muna ang mga pampublikong pagtitipon upang mapigilan ang pagkalat ng sakit na coronavirus disease 2019 upang maisagawa ang banal na misa ng taimtim at mas makabuluhan narito ang ilang mga paalala. Unahin ang Diyos. Magtakda ng oras para sa banal na misa at huwag lamang umasa na magkakaroon tayo ng libreng oras. Kinakailangan na paglaanan talaga ito ng panahon. Itigil ang mga pinagkakaabalahan at gawing sentro ng atensyon ang Panginoon sa banal na misa. Maghanda ng lugar dalanginan. Ihanda ang lugar kung saan makikiisa sa live stream ng banal na misa. Siguruhin na ang lugar ay tahimik at walang ibang makagugulo sa inyong atensyon. Makatutulong din ang paglalagay ng munting altar at pagsisindi ng mga kandila. Ihanda ang pangatawan. Ihanda ang pisikal na pangatawan sa pakikiisa sa online mass. Magbihis ng tama at maglinis ng katawan dahil ito ay makatutulong upang mas maging buhay ang diwa ng pakikiisa sa misa at mga panalangin. Tandaan rin na gawin ang mga angkop na hand gestures sa banal na misa. Makilahok. Huwag gumawa ng ibang mga gawain maliban sa pakikisa sa banal na misa. I-turn off o isara ang mga application sa cellphone o computer, lalo na ang mga instant messaging na makagugulo sa inyong atensyon. Huwag ding sabayan ng mga gawain bahay ang pakikisa sa online mass. Gayunman, para sa mga ilang matitinding pangailangan tulad ng pangalaga sa mga sanggol o sa mga matatanda, maaaring ipos o itigil sandali ang broadcast ng banal na misa, subalit tiyaking babalikan ito kaagad. Espiritual na pakikinabang Bagamat hindi makapakikinabang sa banal na komunyon, maaaring magsagawa ng espiritual na pakikinabang o spiritual communion. Isang panukala ay ang panalangin ni San Alfonso Ligori. Kalakip nito ang bukal sa puso at taimtim na panalangin. Panginoong Hesus, ako ay naniniwala na ikaw ay nasa kabanal-banalang sakramento. Tinatanggap kita ng higit sa lahat at ninanasa kong tanggapin ka sa aking kaluluwa. Sapagkat sa sandaling ito ay hindi kita matatanggap sa sakramento, Tumuloy ka sa Espiritu sa aking puso. Niyayakap kita na para bagang naririto ka na at iniaalay ko ng buong buo ang aking sarili sa iyo. Huwag mong hayaang mawalay ako sa iyo. Amen. Muli po ang pagkakansela ng mga pampublikong pagdiriwang ng banal na misa ay isang mahalagang hakbang upang mapigilan ang pagkalat ng COVID-19. Ito rin ay pakikibahagi natin sa mga kapatid nating kristyano sa buong mundo na walang kakayahan o kalayaan na magdiwang ng banal na misa. Naway magdasal at makibahagi tayo sa mga live stream mass bilang isang sambayan ng kristyano upang mapuksa ang salot na COVID-19 at sa gayon ay agarang maibalik ang mga banal na gawain sa publiko ng walang pangamba.
Brothers and sisters, please be reminded of the following protocols when you visit the cathedral. Wear face mask all the time. Use hand sanitizer or alcohol often. Fill up contact tracing form or scan QR code and maintain physical distancing. Today is the memorial of St. Anthony of Padua, priest and doctor of the church. The presider for our Eucharistic celebration is Bishop Ness. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Every day the Lord gives us an opportunity to renew our faith, to mean what we say, for actions speak louder than words. To prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration, let us ask forgiveness for all our shortcomings and sins. You are sent with the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who gave St. Anthony of Padua to your people as an outstanding preacher and an intercessor in their need, Grant that with his assistance, as we follow the teachings of the Christian life, we may know your help in every trial. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. Neboth the Jezreelite had a vineyard in Jezreel, next to the palace of Ahab, king of Samaria. Ahab said to Neboth, Give me your vineyard to be my vegetable garden, since it is close by next to my house. I will give you a better vineyard in exchange, or if you pre prefer, I will give you its value in money. Naboth answered him, The Lord forbid that I should give you my ancestral heritage. Ahab went home disturbed and angry at the answer Naboth the Jezreelite had made to him. I will not give you my ancestral heritage. Lying down on his bed, he turned away from food and would not eat. 
His wife Jezebel came to him and said to him, Why are you so angry that you will not eat? He answered her, Because I spoke to Naboth the Jezreelite and said to him, Sell me your vineyard, or if you prefer, I will give you a vineyard in exchange. But he refused to let me have his vineyard. His wife Jezebel said to him, A fine ruler over Israel, you are indeed. Get up, eat, and be cheerful. I will obtain the vineyard of Naboth, the Jezreelite, for you. So she wrote letters in Ahab's name, and having sealed them with his seal, sent them to the elders and to the nobles who live in the same city with Naboth. This is what she wrote in the letters. Proclaim a fast and set Naboth at the head of the people. Next, get two scoundrels to face him and accuse him of having cursed God and King. Then take him out and stone him to death. His fellow citizens, the elders and nobles who dwelt in his city, did as Jezebel had ordered them in writing through the letters she had sent them. They proclaimed a fast and placed Naboth at the head of the people. The scoundrels came in and confronted him with the accusation. Naboth has cursed God and king, and they led him out of the city and stoned him to death. Then they sent the information to Jezebel that Naboth had been stoned to death. When Jezebel learned that Naboth had been stoned to death, she said to Ahab, Go on, take possession of the vineyard of Naboth and Jezreelite that he refused to sell you, because Naboth is not alive, but dead. On hearing that Naboth was dead, Ahab started off in his way down to the vineyard of Naboth, the Jezreelite, to take possession of it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, listen to my groaning. Lord, listen to my groaning. Hearken to my words, O Lord. Attend to my sign. Heed my call for help, my King and my God. Lord, listen to my groaning. At dawn I bring my plea expectantly before you. For you, O God, delight not in wickedness. No evil man remains with you. The arrogant may not stand in your sight. Lord, listen to my groaning. You hate all evildoers. You destroy all who speak falsehood. The bloodthirsty and the deceitful, the Lord abhors. Lord, listen to my groaning. Please all stand. to my feet is your word, a light to my path. Be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. 
Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, offer no resistance to one who is evil. When someone strikes you on your right cheek, Turn the other one to him as well. If anyone wants to go to law with you over your tunic, hand him your cloak as well. Should anyone press you into service for one mile, go with him for two miles. Give to the one who asks of you, and do not turn your back on one who wants to borrow. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So allow me to explain a little the reading so that you could understand them better. Ano ha? Yung una, the first, is Ahab, who was the king of uh, Samaria. And he had a wife, Jezebel, who was a pagan. And Ahab wanted his neighbor's, that is, uh, vineyard, belonged to Naboth, to, he wanted this vineyard to be joined to his garden. And Naboth, refused because among the Israelites land is just given to you by God on loan. You have to respect your ancestral land. You are not supposed to sell it. You are just a steward. So that's why Naboth resisted. So Sabna, no way. And then what happened? The pagan queen Jezebel did something. She spread false news. So, meron na palang trolls at that time. <laughs> meron ng false news. So, what did she say? She told many people that uh, Naboth blasphemed. He cursed God and the king. So, he deserved to be stoned to death. So, may trolls na po, no? <laughs> so, that's what happened. He was stoned to death without being tried because of false rumors, false news, and so he was a victim. So that's, uh, that's how it ends, okay? And uh, of course, at the back of our mind, we say, that's unfair, that is unjust, killing an innocent man. So we want justice, we want revenge. Gospel, okay? Punta tayo sa gospel, where we get some way of dealing with the problem. In the gospel, this is part of the Sermon on the Mount. After the eight Beatitudes, there are five sections where Jesus teaches us, teaches the people, some important values of the kingdom. So, you have in those times, the law of Lex talionis, getting even. So it was to uh, limit the idea of getting justice. Some they would overdo to get revenge or to get justice. For instance, one stole his cow and then in revenge he kills one of his children. So that's, you know, too much as it were. And yet, in the ancient times, even pagans like, we have the, what you call Code of Hammurabi. These are some laws by which the community can uh, settle some disputes. And yet, Jesus, who is God, tells us, but I say to you, so it's not just an ordinary man, he's God, who tells us, but I say to you, so, God wants us to be compassionate. 
God wants us to settle things not, you know, uh, using human laws. You know, you hurt me, I will hurt you. You hit me with right eye, I get black eye. In uh, justice, you will be given a black eye. Jesus says, no, that should not be the case. So, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, pag ganyan, ubus tayong lahat. <laughs> Who can stand before God? All of us have seen. If God will deal with us in the way we deal with people, with this Lex Talionis, nobody can stand before God. Okay? Now, offer no resistance to one who is evil. We might have the impression that we just have to be passive. We just have to submit. No. So, the point of the gospel is to help us to become compassionate, merciful, loving, as the Father is merciful and compassionate and loving. When someone strikes you on right cheek, turn the other. So that means he will have to use the other hand by slapping you backwards. That is an insult. So it is. it puts the one who does the thing to shame. Parang mapahiya, hindi yung sinampal, yung nananampal. That is dishonor. Okay? So that you might understand. That is dishonor in their culture. If anyone wants to go to law with you over your tunic, hand him over your cloak. So, they have a law. At the end of the day, kahit na sinala ng sang tao ang kanyang balabal, you are supposed to give that because, you know, at night, he will feel the cold if he has nothing to protect the per himself. Wow! So, even poor people are protected. Kahit na sinala, dapat isoli mo kanyang balabal sa gabi parang may panglaban siya sa lamig. And yet, we are told, if somebody brings you to law, be over your tunic, give him your cloak as well. Sige, lahat ng damit mo, bigay mo sa kanya. That is, an, again, to put the person to shame. Imagine, matutulog ang isang tao, hubad o walang panlaban sa lamig, dahil sa iyo, namatay siya. So, it's more to put the shame, to put to shame the person who, the death, the, who, uh, to whom the person has some debt. And then, should anyone press you into service for one mile, go with him two miles. Yung mga Roman soldiers, they can ask people to carry their baggage, help them, pero for one mile. Kapag lampas ng isang one mile, may kaso yung sundalo. And yet, we are told here, you go for two miles. So, anong punto? Be generous, be compassionate, be merciful, as your Father is compassionate, merciful, and generous. This is the challenge of the Gospel. Be like Christ and not be what the law, what the world tells you. Using some kind of laws and justice, use the measuring stick of God, which is love. Amen. Our loving Father has been very good to us. Let us pray that His merciful love may mark our attitude towards everyone. The response, Father, perfect us in your love. Father, perfect us in your love. That as God's people, we may be able to live out Christ's law of love. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father perfect, perfect us, us in, in your, your love. love. That we may forgive our enemies and those who, have, who may have hurt or wronged us in any way. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father perfect, perfect us, us in, in your love. love. That we may do away with division and selfishness 
and that we may overcome evil by goodness, let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father perfect, perfect us in your love, that those who are hardened in, in sin may be touched by the Spirit of the Lord to repent and change their ways. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father perfect, perfect us, us in, in your, your love, love, that our beloved dead may be brought safely home to the company of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father perfect, perfect us in your love. Lord of all people, as we pray for these intentions, help us to grow together and help us overcome hostility and conflict. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice which we gladly present on the feast day of blessed Anthony of Padua be pleasing to you, O God, for taught by him we to give ourselves entirely to you in praise through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Anthony of Padua, you, had, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore, this gives we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, like the two fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willing to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, 
which will be chibbin up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until, until you, you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity. Together with Francis at Pell and me, your unworthy servant and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us now pray to our loving Father that like St. Anthony of Padua, we may always have a heart that is full of love, mercy, and compassion that the kingdom may come to us. We pray in the very words Jesus himself taught us. Lord, we pray from every evil 
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and perfect from and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
let us pray. Through Christ the teacher, O Lord, instruct those you feed with Christ, the living bread, that on the feast day of blessed Anthony of Padua, they may learn your truth and express it in words of charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please all kneel for the Oracio Imperata against COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow for the blessing. Bestow increase of heavenly grace on your faithful, O Lord. May they praise with their lips, with their souls, with their lives. And since it's by your gift that we exist, may our whole lives be yours through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace and be a light in the world. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Have a good day and a blessed week ahead, everyone. Have Thank a good you, day, Bishop.